Cool. All right, so let's jump over to chapter four. Chapter four is called Visual and Audio Input, Camera and Microphone Access. Oh, that sounds really cool. All right, can you tell us a bit more about that? What, so what does that mean from uh, um, audio input? Could Flash actually understand what we're saying and stuff like that, or not that level? Just uh, tell, tell us more. Tell me more. So yeah, um, this chapter goes into how to capture mm -hmm. both visual and oral uh, data through mm -hmm. the device. So with Air for Android, you actually have the ability to tap into the camera uh, to record still images or even video. Mm -hmm. And you also have the ability to pick up on the microphone that's, that's on the device. And you can record any of that data Mm -hmm. and then use it within your application. Let me put you on the spot here and ask you a question because I have no idea. Is there, just like, you know, I have an Android and an iPhone and both of them like when I talk to them and they're quite good at understanding what I'm saying. Is there any tools out there that enable Flash developers in Android or Air to actually um, let the users talk to the, to the applications just as, um, you know, like the Google search and such? Yeah, there, there actually are at this point. Um, when I when I wrote the book, there wasn't really anything like that. Mm -hmm. But since then, people have come up with uh, I, I don't know if you know the concept of ActionScript native extensions, mm -hmm. but these are basically ways of extending the platform to use native code in order to tap into some of these right. underlying APIs like voice recognition and things like that oh, very that cool. you can use to. You know, do exactly as you're saying. You could you could be able to speak to the actual application, and it would be able to respond to commands or translate things into text for you, and and things of that nature. So it definitely and sounds like a project. There are libraries out there, ANEs, that you can download and use freely in your Air for Android applications. Very cool. So that that sounds like a good project. Uh, I, probably a complicated one. So don't get discouraged if it gets too messy, but. Um, if you're capable of doing that, you definitely are capable of doing anything with video and audio um, in Flash or Android. So that would be a really great exercise. 